Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. The count here for this green wave four, um, I would only like to focus on the short term in this video because everything else was discussed and the greater context hasn't changed. So the only summary um, I'd like to give to new viewers here is that I still expect Bitcoin to push higher here in the short term as long as the critical support area for this wave four holds. And this support area is between 18,800 and 20,100 basically yeah, between these they are FIB levels relevant for the way for support and as long as we stay above it or hold it um it, it's gonna be okay yeah we, we're gonna push higher um target i can imagine well i can't imagine but <laughs> i can imagine but um based on the analysis uh, between 23,760 and 25,670 for this way five doesn't need to go high that high this is an ideal target for the fifth wave based on the length of the third wave um, this can change depending on how low we go eventually here in the wave four yeah so don't see these as sort of uh, something that definitely has to work out but they are guide they are sort of for orientation my view is here for bitcoin that we are still in this pattern at the moment i mean there are we need to be honest yeah that various patterns are possible here. I had the idea that I made you aware in the previous video that this could have been an A wave down, here a B wave to the upside, and we are now coming down in the C wave. And that's possible due to the count here that we say we had five waves down, as you can clearly see, one, two, three, four, five, maybe in, an, um, in a wave one of C. We're now moving up in a wave two of C, could then come down in three of C, move up in four of C and finish off in five of C because the wave C is a five wave move. Alternatively, it could be a W, X, Y pattern where the wave W is done, the wave X was an absolute mess, and then the Y wave would be um, an ABC where we had the A wave here in five waves. Uh, this is gonna be a B wave and then we move down in C. So you have basically only three waves here. Yeah, so these are the possibilities. Um, but anything is possible in this range. It could even become a larger triangle, which is difficult, but I could say, okay, we have here something, if, if this sideways movement continues, this could have been an A wave, B wave of the triangle, C wave of the triangle, um, D wave of the triangle, and E wave of the triangle. And then we would rally. So again, that's why we have so many, um, that's why, due to the sideways movement, because the market hasn't made up its mind yet, we have so many possibilities. In the end, what's important to understand that as long as we hold the support area, we can focus on higher. So this would be an area, if we get into this, a stop loss could be set below the area for a long trade of wave five. If we don't get into the area, that's life. Then you have to decide, do you take a breakout trade? What I did, I already DCA into this region, my monthly DCA program, basically, where I'm dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin Ethereum. So if it goes up, I'm happy. If it comes down, I'm gonna take a long trade, a uh, swing trade, but, um, not Bitcoin, rather Ethereum. Um, so, and that's where we are, right? And when can we have a bigger or better view of that we actually go higher? In my view, it would be a first indication, a breakout above the 21,260 level, this small swing high. And better would be a break above this, um, one second, move that away, where exactly that point is, above the wave B high, yeah? So that's here at 20, 21,450. Getting above that would allow us to push higher here in the fifth wave in green. Looks like sideways consolidation. I think a lot of coins are currently in their wave four. So it will be very interesting. Today is obviously stock market is closed, so don't expect too much volatility. Maybe we will see some action towards the weekly, uh, the daily candle close. That's obviously in a few hours. So it will be interesting. Okay, that's my update about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.